Welcome to day seven of my 14 day modeling challenge. So we're at the halfway point. That's pretty cool. I kind of threw myself off yesterday though, because instead of making this kind of video, I was in the middle of modeling the fighter brute and I was just starting to put the wrinkles on the cloth around his belt and pants and things like that. And I thought, you know, there's a video that I've been wanting to record about how to do that. And so maybe I'll make that video instead. And fun fact, that video took me two hours to make. Two hours to make a two minute video. I didn't get to watch Hidalgo with my family because I chose to make that video instead. But I am kind of happy with how it turned out. It's got good pacing and everything. And hopefully it'll teach people something new and, and it'll be that evergreen content that people just keep coming back to. Meanwhile, today I did finish modeling the fighter brute and posed him and everything. The posing process, always an ordeal, especially since I'm trying to make these poses so that they can 3D print on FDM printing without supports, which means instead of having these dynamic fighter poses, you shall not pass and things like that, I have to do poses that are a little bit more subdued. But at the end of the day, it's about working with the limitations of the technology that you have. In the past, I had injection molding and they could only pose them in certain ways. Today, we have 3D printing and, you know, that limits what we do as well. But I think it turned out pretty good. Now, by a strange set of circumstances, I had today off of work. And so I chose to spend my morning recording one of my long form videos that I hope to release after I'm done with this 14 day challenge, but I thought I would record the footage today. Only I found out that I had cut off the top of my head in half of the footage that I recorded. So I'm going to have to go out and do it all over again. Honestly, I need to fire my camera, man. But tomorrow, now that I have two of the minis done that I'm going to need for this, I'm going to start on the third one. And if you have an idea for a mini that you would like to see added to this game, just a generic fantasy mini, whatever trope you want to do, let me know in the comments because who knows, I may add that one next. But join me tomorrow for day eight as we enter the back half of making Printer Quest Rivals, or whatever we end up calling it.